This episode of At brought to you by GoToAssist Express. Learn more at GoToAssistExpress.com. The big story here at CES this year clearly is 3D television. And Kevin here from Sharp, uh, you guys are one of the other one of the companies that are offering 3D technology. Absolutely. And I have to say, I was very jaded initially. <laughs> like 3D, I don't care about 3D television until right. you have the experience. You put these glasses on right. and you watch these televisions. And I have to say, it's amazing. It really is. It's an immersive experience that, as you said, until you experience it yourself, it's very hard to appreciate. One of the unique things with our 3D technology is we've actually integrated the solution to one easy solution. Mm -hmm. So you need a 3D source, a 3D capable TV, and the 3D glasses in order to really complete that equation. Okay, so the source would be what, like a Blu-ray player that's exactly. capable of 3D? Yeah, so that's element number one. Element number one, okay. Yep. And then you need the screen. Element number two. Now why wouldn't any old screen be able to display the 3D technology? With the new Blu-ray 3D technology that's being coming out, you need a special Blu-ray player to take advantage of that decoding, that, that process, and a TV that can handle that new signal coming in. All right. So it is a different, completely different signal than what we've had in the past. So there's a, there's a fire hose of data coming at it, because yes. of course you're not just displaying one picture, you're displaying right. multiple angles, I guess. Exactly. Like, however, that's it's almost, done. if you think about that, it's a great way of looking at it. It's more data through that pipe. Right. Whereas HDTV before was a certain amount of bandwidth, now we're increasing that because we're essentially doing, like you said, different angles almost simultaneously. Simultaneously, okay. Yeah. So you get three pictures in one or multiple pictures in one. Right. And then you need a set of glasses. That's right. So, so glasses, red and green, uh, red and blue? No, actually changed to active new 3D glasses. They're much more advanced than the traditional cereal box red and green yeah, ones yeah, you may yeah. have gotten as a yeah. kid. And that really completes the solution. What's great about our solution is that we're looking to integrate that 3D required capable blue Blu-ray player into the TV itself and making the TV 3D capable and include the glasses as well. So it's really a one solution for your entire 3D experience. Very good. Uh, and uh, so we're, when are we going to be available? We're targeting Q, Q4 of 2010. Yeah, right. So by, I'd say, October, November of 2010, you'll start seeing our 3D Aquas TVs in the marketplace. Price is still to, to be determined, but it will be a premium. A premium will be your traditional television? Yeah, exactly. And will you offer a large range of television? Will be like one I, initially and then? I think we'll start with one series with various screen sizes. It's usually more towards a larger screen size, like a 52, a 60, and a 68 inch. Yeah. Uh, and then as that becomes more prevalent, you'll see that obviously roll out into more of our Aquas LCD televisions. Cool. There you go, a 3D television to the Sharp booth at CES. Hey, it's not just a gimmick, it's pretty cool. This episode of At brought to you by GoToAssistExpress. Learn more at GoToAssistExpress.com.